Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. So today is Sunday, the 7th of February 2021. It's R3 in the. Right, so here we have a cable Mantis Light Plus and it's a rear wheel drive, 800 watt, and it's just one single motor and it's 48 volt. I think it's 18.5 amp hours anyway I've not been able to use it because the weather's been that bad in Manchester in the UK and we've had loads of rain constantly having loads of rain and today it's not raining but it's attempting to snow so rear suspension front suspension anyway can't use it because of the wet and here we've got a U do 5 kick scooter I've had this in my past converted as an e-scooter with a thousand watt Vilomart front wheel and I stripped it and I was going to sell it but I think I'm going to convert it again give me something to do over these winter days and give me something then I can ride at the end of it if it's raining so the thousand watt Vilomart wheel really it's thousand watt but that's just a controller the wheel itself is actually 1500 watt i'm in a violomart facebook group and people are fitting 2000 watt controllers on them and 1500 watt and violomart themselves do a 1500 watt controller so i'm gonna do a bit of research on that and order one of them so it'll take a bit this video to make um because I've got parts to order and yeah I'm going to make a start on it today I'm not sure what I'm going to do I might change the tyre on the rear wheel and fit the chunky one on the BMX tyre 20 inch ok catch up in a bit she's got a nail bone what have you got? right so i want to fit a wooden footboard to it when i convert it so i want to do a proper job this time and that's not wide enough then three bars for the standing platform needs to be a lot wider you get better balance and stability so i'm going to go in search of either a piece of wood or maybe a skateboard i'm not sure okay so it's quarter past seven and i've finished so what i've done today is fitted the e-bike wheel to the suntour fox i've put an extra spacer in there because the gap was different but i need to sort that out this is the cap isn't right so it's a millimeter or two millimeters above what it should be so the forks are stiff so they need sorting out can't remember how i did it last time but that's it for today and i'm just looking at the violomart 1500 watt controller and it comes from china so i think i'm gonna order that later it's interesting right so that's the original controller the thousand watt controller and last night i ordered the violomart 1500 watt 48 volt controller for the lcd display and that's the setup that i've got so i ordered that it was 45 pound free delivery and it comes from china even though the website violomart is in the uk it says on it when you order it it comes from china so i've got an email and it's just saying that they'll send tracking numbers when it gets posted or a tracking number so just gotta wait on that to come so i'm gonna do a few other things today i'm gonna change the back tire and i'm gonna get the battery out and see if i can get it to fit but a really secure fit so that's what i want to do today okay here we have a michelin mambo tire and i don't know if you can see but it's 20 by 2.125 i 
or 2.1 so I'm going to fit it on my back tyre loosen my brake and near enough open my brake so the tyre will fit and it's quite a simple job really so I'll catch up when I've done that ok so it's 20 past 4 and my Michelin Mambo BMX tyre has been fitted 20 inch 2.125 move your bum typical stands in my way okay so that's it as you can see nice chunky tread simple fit just needs pumping up bit of air in it come on you move look she won't move out of the way right okay i'm gonna go and dig the battery out of the bedroom um i've got it in storage somewhere come on watch out and it fits on here okay catch up in a bit okay it's 10 to 5 and i found my battery so this is a battery 48 volt 16 amp hour high long cost 190 i think off ebay the other year there's a plate it goes on and the charger okay i'm gonna make a brew and then i'm gonna try and fit it okay right okay it's now quarter past seven and i found the rubber supports that i used last time to keep this plate level you've got to be level when you screw it in or you can't get the battery on so i've got one screw there i need to find another that'll fit in there um, and i've been looking everywhere and i can't seem to find one so i'm gonna have a look later but i think that's it for today so it's been day two right okay so i'll catch up with you tomorrow i think now um it's been a long day and i've done enough okay